Hey guys, I wanted to get right into the airdrop update for the week. We have some serious updates going on. We have the wormhole uh, token dropping in two days. We have ZK from the, uh, not ZK sync, but from Polyhedra, the ZK token is also airdropping tomorrow. And uh, I wanna talk about those two things, but I also wanna talk about upcoming airdrops and what I'm uh, also farming this week. So let's get on right on into it. First and foremost, guys, uh, this is my list of 2024 airdrops. We're hoping for $69,000 worth of airdrops this year and uh, and then some if possible. Um, and uh, let's go looking at what we got for these bridges. So we have Polyhedra. I'm uh, guessing I'm not going to hit this uh, based on my speculation today, but I'm looking for $1,000 and uh, this is dropping tomorrow. So the date on that is, uh, let's see, we are in March. So March 19th is tomorrow. And uh, let's see where that drops at. Uh, pricing is not even available on Wales Market right now. If you go to Wales Market, nothing under ZK yet, but we do have a W token. Uh, low ball price here is uh, $1.69 per token, which is pretty great because uh, as of last week, we found out how much uh, W tokens we'd be getting. And it looks like I'm going to be getting a decent allocation here. Wormhole, I have uh, 2677 points between three wallets. And uh, this should be a pretty decent drop. Let's see how much that's gonna be. 2677 times at the low ball at 169 per, that's a $4,500 airdrop, which is pretty incredible considering I was only hoping for $1,000 there. Now, Polyhedra, it looks to me, uh, if you go to Twitter, and if you're not following uh, CC2 Capital, guys, you're doing yourself a disservice if you're uh, farming airdrops. But uh, this guy is the GOAT as far as heads up on all things airdrops, and uh, he has given us a screenshot of what the ZK bridge transactions could look like as far as the uh, the drop goes for us. Um, if you go to uh, checkers on, let's see, wenzer.xyz, you can see, get yourself a um, update on how many transactions you did. And this is what uh, it seems like they're tracking as far as the airdrop goes. Now this could be speculation guys, but I only have a total of 11 transactions between uh, the ZK bridge and other things like Merkley NFT bridge and these sorts of things. So I'm looking at just a small drop. I didn't get any of the NFTs for this space. Although I did do one, I think I, I did a dragon, you know, Chinese New Year thing and see, we'll see if that actually shows up as one of the NFTs they're gonna drop. But let's get back into my list here and back to X. So on X, it looks like if I've got 11 transactions, that's, uh, if you do the calculation here, that's a number of transactions times this number over here. So I'm only gonna get like 200, 200 and something tokens here, but we don't know how much these are going to be. So it could be, you know, a, you know, a smaller uh, number of tokens being allocated, which would be great. And we could see, you know, $1,000 there. But at this point, I'm not too, um, not sure I'm gonna get a huge allocation, but I, I am gonna get one much higher than I expected for W. And so we'll see how much these are going to go for on the market as of uh, 4 a.m. my time, that's 9 a.m. UTC is the, um, yeah, 9 a.m. UTC is the drop for ZK token for the Polyhedra uh, network, which is primarily a bridge similar to layer zero. So this is uh, both uh, wormhole and ZK are front running the layer zero uh, airdrop. So it's pretty, pretty crazy to have so many bridges being, um, you know, uh, in the news right now before we have the layer zero drop. But so uh, let's move on from that. What I'm farming right now, guys, I'm getting some amazing results on, on this uh, USDC to arrow pool. And I'm doing the Delta neutral option on this and making 1.72% per day on this uh, particular pool. Um, it's Delta neutral, so it's not gonna drop your, your equity um, all that much if there's any fluctuation in the price of Aero or USDC. Obviously USDC is a stable, so Aero's the, the, uh, the one that's gonna be moving on us. And Aero's been on fire lately. Let me show you the price of Aero. 
So I maybe maybe uh, shouldn't have been de delta neutral on this, but uh, you guys, Arrow has been on a tear, and I think we could be heading towards a dollar. So I may take the delta neutral bit off of this, and actually maybe lever leverage it long. Um, really now is the time I think we may bounce off of this EMA here. Um, in fact, I do think if you're following along with what I'm posting on Twitter, guys, I did post that it's likely that this is the bottom as of, you know, just looking at prices here. Um, this trend line looks like we're going to probably bounce at this point as far as the, the lows for the ETH price. Um, farming, again, uh, extra finance is crushing it right now. I put in, um, you know, my, my, my overall philosophy for this bull run is to stack a bunch of ETH, uh, throw it into lending programs um, on base. I'm using, let's find my lending program on base here. See if I can find it. I don't have it in my tabs, so let's go find it here. I am lending on Moonwell, and that actually had a really great USDC APR and it's actually giving us USDC rewards. In fact, I'm making more in rewards than I am um, accruing an interest, which is really uh, unheard of in this market right now. Uh, most USDC is being uh, hoarded and used. And so like in uh, Silo, which is my main priority as far as uh, where I like to stash a lot of my ETH. Yeah, 31% if you're uh, lending PT, which um, I am lending this, but I'm not borrowing against it. It's a little expensive to borrow against. Um, let's see. I'm in the Rapstick ETH at 12%. I'm in the R ETH at 11%. So those aren't terrible. The ARB silo is 11%. So that's decent percentages, but the Moonwell was a lot cheaper. I think it at like 7%, which is pretty fantastic. So uh, base seems to be the place to be right now as far as... Uh, some of these yield farms go, especially this USDC to Aero farm. You can also do this on Beefy, guys. If you don't want to do the leverage, I like Beefy a lot. Beefy has the same pool. In fact, you can farm any one of these uh, chains here in Beefy, which is awesome. But let's go to base and just confirm that they still have the Aero pool here. So Aero to USDC. It's that USB, uh, USDBC, it's the native USDC on, uh, that's uh, Coinbase, I believe, related uh, USDC. So, um, yep, 0.779% on there if you don't want to lever, and all the way up to 1.7, I believe, on extra for uh, the leverage version, which is delta neutral. It's a 1.98x neutral leverage. So um, be careful with leverage guys, but this is neutral. So I'm ha pretty happy. Now one new uh, farm that I do want to talk about before I go and I'll make a full video on this guys is that I just got into Rage Trade. No, I haven't touched Rage Trade in a while. It was on Arbitrum or uh, rather on AVAX uh, last cycle. And uh, it was primarily, I believe, more of an aggregator of yield. But now it's a trading aggregation platform. Now, don't look at my P&Ls. They're suffering pretty bad from this downturn, but I have made um, more than this downturn in uh, NEAR tokens, so I'm actively trading NEAR right now. I think it's a great narrative in the AI space, but uh, I'm farming these um, from an airdrop perspective because uh, Rage Trade is going to have a token launch at some point, and so you can start... They're gonna they're gonna announce soon a, a points program, so look out for that. But you can pre-farm that and get a little uh, retroactive points there. Um, the great thing about this is you can actually farm hyper late hyper liquid as well during that process. So I'm I am farming uh, the hyper liquid airdrop points as well as rage trades points, and you can go delta neutral on this super simple guys. Uh, and the funding rates are pretty insane on some of these. So it's real easy to, uh, let's say, let's say we go long on hyper liquid and then short on AVO. Like, look at this, look at this variance here. It's like over hundred percent. So 131 uh, to short on AVO and 
negative uh, 10% to uh, long on hyperliquid. I think that's 120% APR at the moment, which is pretty fantastic uh, APR on a delta neutral um, trading strategy while farming two different airdrops, guys. So do check that out. Um, heads up, I will be updating my Discord. I'm gonna be putting those in the profile links below. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content like this. Um, I hope to be talking more about yield farming and airdrops almost entirely through this year. It's my primary goal is to farm as much as possible, um, both airdrops and in yield and grow my bags. So follow along if you'd like to. Also, I'm releasing a beginner's guide to yield farming. Um, that's going to be on, I'm gonna put that on Kajabi as a training program, that'll be $49. I do wanna charge because I couldn't justify uh, just making that content. I wasn't motivated, honestly, to make beginner content unless I charged for it. So the noobs are going to have to pay and I'm sorry for that, uh, but it's just what it is, guys. I have got too much going on. I wanna, I'd rather farm airdrops uh, and, and make money that way than spend my time making noob content, but I was a noob once too, and so were you, and so I'm going to, I, I built it in order to make some money off of it, because I'm going to sell what I've experienced, and uh, I think it should be valuable to those. I mean, it's only going to be $49. If you can't make $49 on like a $1,000 uh, investment in this uh, cycle um, with yield farming, guys, you're not doing it right. So, um, obviously not financial advice. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, and God bless.